This is a time lapse for the Halo Ground Command Miniatures game. This is the Ghost Squad. Uh, total time to paint these three miniatures, excluding assembly, is was roughly two and a half hours. So during the assembly phase, one of the ghosts was found with a misprint. Part of the ghost's hood or underhood was not painted or printed properly. And seeing that Spartan Games shut down their Halo operations, the only option I had was to use green stuff to fix it. Um, I also left the ghosts separate because attaching the pilot would severely limit my painting in those areas. This meant I only attached the wings to the front and the metal engines on the bottom. Um, so when I started up painting, I started with a Zenithal Prime black followed by white highlights. And then I used a thin layer of purple as a base coat. Most of the painting process is actually just putting in details without adding much highlight for these miniatures because they're so small. Uh, but choosing the right colors was not an easy process. The fact is that ghosts in Halo have uh, decades of iteration, so they have different models, which have different shades, shapes, and uh, different designs. I worked with the uh, best reference photo I had and then took some liberty with the metallic silver bits I ended up painting in the video. The wingtips are not silver, they were like a deeper purple in the reference photos. I was also able to find what ranks of grunts were ghost pilots nor what colors they wear. Apparently on the uh, Halo wiki, grunts wear random colors just randomly. There are no sergeants or corporals or leaders or whatever. So I decided to just go with uh, orange because the rest of my army grunts have been planned with uh, different colors. Anyway, the models themselves have uh, excellent detail. I assume they managed to get their hands on the actual Halo CG models, hence the uh, fine detail. But their uh, Spartan Games' printing process is really lacking. The sprues and plastics was bad, the metals for most of the miniatures warped when cutting, and uh, metal minis have trouble sticking to each other even with super glue, so yeah, that was a fun process. Anyway, the uh, grunts or the ungoys skin was grey, and I actually had to go through about two or three different greys before settling on the final one in, you see in the video. Uh, the ghost's deep purple was a last minute decision because it really didn't stand out after painting most of the ghost so I decided to accent it with a different color but with a different primary color. So those are my thoughts on the process. I will leave you to the rest of the time lapse and um, yeah final photos are in the end or at the end so enjoy.